Hey guys, and welcome back to Smoothness Project with the Ride On Tractor. Um, just a quick update. Um, yesterday at college, I've welded all the cogs together, so the axle is basically going to be put back together by Monday, hopefully. And I have a video of that to show you. Um, everything's going really well on it. So yeah, basically all coming together. Um, today, first episode, we're sanding down, we're wire brushing down, and ready to red primer it. So if you'd like to basically show you just a normal wire brush and pick these up like a quick <laughs> something stupid like that brush a couple of quid paint 17 quid <laughs> and basically once you finish it put your paint on and just primer it on it will feel sticky at the start because obviously that's it fighting into the rust. But yeah. The plan is still to go ahead. We are pretty swapping. Um, whether or not we can find the exact pulley or I'm going to have to manufacture one up it all depends we don't know yet <laughs> basically um, I need a new brake disc on it as our brake disc is so thin basically um, it won't probably stop us I wonder if I should paint on plastic <laughs> This is not his final paint, just in case people want to know. This is just like a primer coat kind of thing. It helps protect rust. Well, it's just basically used on metal. I would only, only be using this on um, hard surfaces that's obviously got a lot of surface rust. For example, like obviously on here where it's been like most weathered. Um, little parts like underneath here. Like, hopefully that stays. Like under here, you know, it's not too bad. I'll probably just paint the hammerite red straight onto it. Because not many people are going to look under the hood. <laughs> you know, it's not too bad. Is only the main areas where it's actually got really battered from where it was sitting around doing nothing really until I came along and picked up. <laughs> what do you think of this project? I'm just recording. <laughs> You have got, well, as you know, the paint. The paint will be, once this fully dries, it takes about roughly two and a half hours to three hours to dry. Um, I'll probably primer it all first, then paint it, obviously. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> I'll do this bit, and then... Right guys, thank you for watching again. This is Smoothness Projects here with the Atco 1136 e to ride on tractor. Um, from now on I will be doing quick updates throughout the video. On the same video, but it will just be quick updates of how fast I'm doing the primer rubbing down. Thank you again guys. Remember to subscribe, like my channel. Any questions, please ask. Bye. Oh hey there, and welcome back. Uh, quick update. Pretty quick update. Uh, halfway through, red oxide in it. As you can see, I'm only painting what I can see basically. Um, all around the engine, I'm just going to scrape off 
and just make it look pretty. Um, because I don't think there's point really take out the engine just to paint a little square patch. I'm just going to scrape it with a little scraper and make it look pretty, basically. So yeah, back to paint. Ready for another thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my beautiful bitch. She is fully done. She's fully primed and ready to be painted. But as you know, it's getting pretty late. You know. So I'll probably paint her tomorrow. Paint her the massy red, you know. Good old colour. Um, it didn't take me actually that long. Roughly two hours, hour and a half. Roughly around about there. I've only painted the things that you can see because obviously she's going to be a good show tractor. Um, with here, hold on, just quickly do it. With the green at the front and the lights, I'm just going to paint straight on that with plastic paint or maybe with the hammer like paint depending on it. Um, yeah, it's not much really to say, really. Uh, it was pretty easy. Um, Again, for people who want to know how I've done it, I just wire brushed it, got all the hard stuff off, and then just went over it with the thingy. Um, all the axles done. Uh, I painted over the sticker because I'm going to put a new sticker on there. Just there. As you can see, the, the sticker was there. So I'm just going to put a new sticker on there anyway. Because as I start peeling it, it all just like ripped in half and it just looked naff. So I'm just going to paint over it. And this side, there's one that side the same, it just said echo, and there's one here. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'm not sure if I said anything about the seat. Um, as you can see, it's not the best they're looking at the back from here. And definitely not the best they're looking from the front. So I'm going to go to my local home furniture um, tomorrow. I'll probably vlog there. I expect you'll see it in the next video. And I can get it re-levered for about 10 to 15 pound at the tops. So yeah, got a nice old comfy seat with a beautiful bitch. <laughs> and I think that's about it today, guys. Uh, thank you again for watching my videos. Remember to like, sub, comment, and I think, and I'll answer. Bye.